The new Consumer Financial Protection Bureau planning to overhaul the prepaid credit card industry. The agency saying reloadable cards are easy targets for fraud and consumer ripoffs. Will new rules make these cards a safer option? Ed Butalski is back. He's the managing partner of Chapwood Investments. Hey, Ed. Hi. Okay, so listen, uh, you know, a lot of people are using these pre prepaid cards. Either you're sending them to your college uh, kids who are way, uh, you know, at, at college, I should say, or you've got a teenager mm -hmm. in the house, you want to keep, it, keep her, his or her spending in check, you give them a prepaid card. What should you be looking out for? Well, it's interesting because uh, we actually have one for our teenage daughter. We put a certain amount of money on that card, and when uh, it, it's used up, you know, she certainly you know comes to us right away and says, "Daddy, all my money's gone." Um, and uh, but but I'll tell you, there there are a lot of issues around this because it's kind of a new industry. It's been around for quite a while, but just as you know, this 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 bureau is mandated, and its job is to try to protect the consumer. But at the same time, these are not non-for-profit businesses, and these people you know who are issuing these cards want to make money, so there has to be some rules, some regulations. It's got to be easy to understand, but you also run the risk of having too many rules and too many regulations and getting away from the free market because the free market will naturally find the right prices and, and all the right rules. But when the government starts coming in, you know very well that it becomes a little tough at some time. So yeah. um, it has to have some attention, uh, but how much attention is really what's in question? You make a good point because you're right. It's a good way to keep a track of the money. So people are using this these days and those guys have to make right. money somewhere. So it's up to you to sort of do due diligence uh, to figure out who's uh, applying those hidden fees. At the same time, maybe some rules and regulations. We can't have the Wild Wild West just uh, running around out there in any uh, uh, business, I, I, I would say. This is my little two cents. Right. Um, but let's talk about fraud because, of course, it, we, we, we all are saying that we're using these prepaid cards more now. We want to keep, a, a, keep track of what, what we're spending. And, of course, the mm -hmm. thieves are out there. They come up with these creative ways to get in there and, and, and get yeah. your money somehow, or I, I don't know, how, how can these guys get in there and, and commit these fraudulent, uh, take advantage of fraudulent opportunities? Yeah, I mean, it, it's a terrible situation we have in, in this country because every day you turn around, you know, the, the banks are afraid that someone got, got a hold of your ID and your information. I mean, I'll use a credit card from time to time, a very simple purchase, and it'll be denied because they want me to call to make sure that, you know, because I use it at a different type of store. So they have to protect themselves as well. Um, and the same thing holds true with prepaid cards. Um, you know, some of them are sort of like bearer bonds. You know, in the old days, you used to have a bond, you know, for a municipality um, or a corporation, and you would hold that bond and you you would clip off the little coupons and mail those in. Well, these prepaid cards, if they're stolen, people just go out and use them, and a lot of them don't even have your name on some of them. You know, a lot of the ones that you buy from companies, or you might get them from iTunes, or you might get them from, you know, Target or Walmart, a lot of those have money on them, and they just get ripped off, and someone just goes and uses them right away. So what, is it, what are you left to do? I mean, you know, Arthel, what you're really left to do is making sure and hoping that those people at the point of purchase are asking for additional ID. All right, so bottom line, they're still good. Regulations in moderation, right? right? Without any question, that's exactly what you want. You want a little regulation, but not too much. All right, Ed Butowski, good to see you. Thank you very much. You too, thank you.